Today we're going to be installing package B's. We have three two pound packages to put in. We're going to start by setting up the hive. I always start with a hive stand to get the bees a little farther off the ground. The next thing we're going to add is a screened bottom board. A screened bottom provides more ventilation for the hive and controls varroa mites, which will fall off the bees and not be able to get back into the colony. We'll start the packages in one deep box. This is 10 frames with plasticell foundation. The packages will be really small when they first get started, so we're going to need to give them an entrance reducer to make their hive easier to defend. We'll take out the entrance reducer when the hive is strong enough to move into its second box. We start the package installation process by removing three or four of the middle frames. This is where we'll dump the bees into. I've pre-mixed one-to-one sugar water. We use this when working with packages instead of smoke because it has a more calming effect on the bees. So we're going to start by taking our first package spraying them down really well On a nice day like this, you really can't use too much sugar syrup if it was a really cold day, it will chill the bees, so you want to be a little more judicious with it. But on a nice day like today, it's probably, it's probably 60 degrees and sunny. We can soak the bees and it'll make them a lot easier to work with. If you're buying more than one package, they'll probably come attached on a, in a group like this. Just pry the first one off. Packages are extremely gentle because they don't really have a home to defend yet. So there's going to be a lot of bees in the air, but just remember that they're really not trying to get you. We're spraying down the other side of the package. Now that we've sprayed down the package, the first step is to jar the package on the ground so all the bees fall to the bottom. Then we're going to pull out the syrup can that they come with for traveling. The queen comes in a separate cage, and I always check right away to make sure she's alive and well. She definitely is here. I'll set her off to the side for now, and just dump the bees into that space that you created in the center of the hive. We're never going to get all the bees out. So just set the package, the package that's mostly empty in front of the hive so that the rest of the bees can hopefully find their way in. I always like to give the bees another good squirt down right now. You could get a couple different kinds of queens. This, in this cage, the queen came by herself, and I know that she's been with this package long enough that I can direct release her into the hive. So I'm going to let her out of the cage right now, right into these bees. If the queen hasn't been with the packages long enough to get them acquainted, 
we'll leave the queen in the hive, in, in her, we'll leave the queen in her little cage and put her in the hive and either allow the bees to release her over the course of several days or come back and release her manually in a few days. If you're doing direct release, the last thing you want is for your queen to fly off because you'll probably never find her again. I cover half the hive with one of the extra frames and I hold the queen down in there when I'm opening up this package. One end of the queen's cage will have a cork. Just take something sharp and fry that cork. Watch to make sure she crawls out. Give the bees another good squirt. And very gently, just brushing the bees aside, lower the rest of your frames back into the hive. Since we're putting the bees on foundation, make sure the frame spacing is right so you don't get a lot of burr comb. Gently push all the frames to the center. I'm adding brood builder patties with honeybee healthy and nose of it. This will be a supplemental protein source while the packages are small, in case we get a few cold nights or days when the bees can't forage. We're also going to feed our packages. So we're going to put the cover on. And this is a hive top feeder from Daydad. We'll fill both of these compartments with the sugar water and the bees can crawl up and get it. This is a good feeder for this time of year because it's not going to get so cold anymore that the bees have to stay clustered. And this will provide a lot of sugar syrup and it's very easy to add more without opening up the hive. I've pre-mixed this one-to-one -one sugar water. The bees aren't really in desperate need of food right now, but this one-to-one -one sugar mixture will just help them draw out the foundation a lot faster. Once we've put the food in, this hive is done, and we want to be very careful not to disturb it for a few days, because that could really have a big impact on queen acceptance. In this case, we're going to come back in about a week and check to make sure that the queen was accepted. If she's not, we'll make sure we have some extras on hand and put in a new queen. Um, but it looked like they took to her really well, so we're just going to check back in a week and make sure they've started drawing foundation. Um, and the queen has started to lay. And our first package is done. For more information about beekeeping and beekeeping supplies, please contact Dedant and Sons at 888-922-1293 or visit your local Dedant branch or visit us online at dedant.com.